Hey friends, welcome into my Makeup Love office. Today I'm gonna do a look for you that's sort of a before and after. I'm gonna do a half face look for you so you can really see the difference between makeup and no makeup. I know a lot of women say, I want a natural look. look. I want a no makeup look. And I agree, I prefer a natural look, a very light-handed look myself. But when you see what a difference makeup can make, even just the lightest bits, it's such a big improvement. Um, it makes such a difference in your appearance and making you look more polished and more elegant um, and more sophisticated. So I just wanna show you that today. So I'm gonna get started with some BB cream. Now this, it has SPF in it. It has moisturizers in it, so it's great skincare as well as giving you coverage. And I'm gonna show you today too how to get um, extra coverage in case you've got any spots, like I do, that need more than just the barest amount of color. So I'm gonna get started. I'm gonna do this half of my face right here. Make a line right down there. And you're gonna see what a difference this is gonna make on one half of my face. Now this BB cream is super light, super easy to apply blends in, just like you're putting a moisturizer on your face. This just happens to be colored moisturizer. Lots of hydration ingredients in here. It'll protect your skin from the sun, okay? Now, let's say you've got some dark spots like I do right here and you feel like you need a little extra coverage. I'm just gonna take another little drop on my brush. I'm gonna go in and I'm just gonna tap right over those spots where I have a lot of sun damage. And it's going away because I've been using the hyperpigmentation skincare series from Celeste. And so a lot of my dark spots are really lightening up. I've got a really big dark spot right here it's even getting hard to see, which is great, but I'm gonna put a little extra BB cream right over that to really make it less noticeable. So if you've got issues with the under eye area, again, just put a little extra right there underneath. A little extra over here. And notice I'm using a tapping motion where I want it to be um, a little more heavy handed, a little extra coverage, okay? Now, notice what a difference that is between this side of my face where you can see my dark spots pretty, pretty well right there versus this side of my face. All right, let's move on. I'm gonna use my blusher beads. If you've not seen me use these, I just think these are the coolest things. They're little beads of powder. They are different colors and they're sort of a like a marbleized shimmer. So I just take my brush and I go over the top of those really gently, and then I'm just gonna go up pretty high on my cheekbone because I wanna keep things up high and apply a little bit of color right there. And again, I'm tapping because I wanna get that color pretty saturated right there. These beads are not heavy in color. They're not heavy in texture either. They're very lightweight. So there we go. All right, let's get a little brow gel going on that side. And I'm just using this brow gel to color in those white and gray hairs that I seem to accumulate now that I'm pushing 60. For the record, I will be 60 in December, right after Christmas. And I'm not dreading it. I'm actually looking really forward to it. If I work up the courage for my 60th, I'm getting a tattoo. If I can work up the courage. I'm not a fan of needles, so we will see. I would like to get my dog, my, four, my old dog, um, whose picture is behind this curtain right here. Um, he's probably my soulmate dog. Um, his name was Cowboy. He was a boxer pit mix, and I only had him for six months. He was a phosphorus dog, phosphor 
foster hospice. Um, I took him in as a foster dog knowing that his time was limited, um, knowing that he was terminal. And I only had him about six months, but I love that dog. We made such a connection. So if I work up the courage, I'm gonna get his paw print, maybe his name right here, if I work up the courage. That's for my 60th. All right, let's do a little bit of eyelining here. I've got this chocolate brown eyeliner. I'm gonna do just a little bit of lining on my lower lash line right here. Again, nothing real heavy. A little bit above my lashes, just a tiny bit. I don't like it to be a real heavy line. And then I'm gonna even, get a little more, there we go. I'm even going to take a thin brush and I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna smudge that ever so slightly. There we go. All right, I'm going to use this rosy shimmer color for my eyes. I'm gonna start by putting that on right here in the outer corner of my eye. Just a little dot of color right there. And then I'm gonna go up in the crease and slightly above the crease because I have really hooded eyes. And when I open my eye, if I don't get it above the crease, you would never see it. So I'm gonna get it up there. And then I'm gonna take my old favorite. This is from the Nude Look line. This is the, they call it ivory. I call it more of a champagne beige. Um, and it's got a lot of shimmer to it. I'm gonna take a big fluffy brush Grab some of that color. I'm gonna start at the inner corner and work my way out. And I'm gonna blend so you don't see any big line of color in between there. And I'm gonna blend up here as well. There we go. All right, let's grab some mascara. This is the False Lashes Mascara. This was my favorite. I have learned that the brush, the wand, makes a huge difference. And depending on what your natural lashes are like and what sort of effect or final look you wanna have, it makes a big difference in what kind of brush or wand you use. I did not knew, know that until I started selling Celesti and I took a lot of their training modules and I was really shocked because I had never learned that. Um, in all the years I've done my makeup and sold other products, I did not know that. So this one is very thin and long um, and I have, um, Decent lashes, they are not super thin, um, but they're not very long and I'm, I really want extra length. So that brush and wand is perfect for length. If you wanna get extra length, you wanna get really long lashes, that's the perfect one for it. And so I think it really makes my lashes stand out. All right, last thing I'm gonna do, this is gonna be hard, only half my, I am going to use my jelly lipstick. Now, if if you're like me and you can remember, remember vinyl records um, from back in the day, you're that old, you're pushing 60 like me. Um, these were around before in like the 70s or 80s. I wanna say they had these pH changing lipsticks. Um, and back then they weren't nearly this good. They, they looked really fake when you put them on. The colors were not um, great, I wanna say. These are really wonderful. First of all, it's a lip balm, and so it's super moisturizing. Um, now, there's the neon orange. This one is going to be natural pink. There is the neon green. That one is a bright pink. And then there's the neon pink, which is a berry pink. So I'm gonna use this one today.
And there you go. I don't know if you can tell really well on camera, but check out that natural pink. Now let's take a look at the difference and the two sides of my face. First of all, let's look at the eyebrow. See what a difference that makes? Just covering in those gray and white hairs, it really makes my eyebrow stand out and frame my eye much better. Here it just sort of almost disappears into my face because it's so light. There's so many grays and whites now that you can't, it doesn't stand out as much. This really gives a nice frame to my face, okay? My eyes are brown. I think they're one of my best features, but gosh, they kind of mm, disappear back into my face because they're hooded. This really brings them out and makes my eyes pop, okay? You can see all of the sun damage over here. I've got really uneven skin texture. It's patchy looking, not the same color all over. On this side, not only does it look much better, but I've got this nice blush going, which kind of draws my face up. Do you notice that? How this side, it's like drawn up, draws the eye up. This side looks much younger. And then of course the lips. Again, my lips are very thin, especially my top lip. Adding that pop of color to my lips makes it look younger. And hey, isn't that what we're going for when we're in our 50s and 60s, ladies? We want to look younger. Not like we're 20 again, just like we're not old and frumpy. We wanna still look polished. We still wanna look sophisticated. We still wanna look great for our age. So just that little bit of makeup, not a ton, just a little bit is enough to just push that over the edge to where it looks really nice. So there's my half face look for you using minimum products, not a lot, and a very natural look. If you have any questions for me, please feel free to pop them in the comments or you can certainly message me and I'll be glad to give you help on product um, recommendations, on shade matches, um, anything that I can help you with. If you enjoyed this tutorial, I hope you'll give me a like and a share. Please hit that bell so you know when I have a new video out. And as always, I appreciate you. Until next time, see ya.